Hi, I wanted to go through a couple of, of tips and tricks that might help you when you're doing some computations. Uh, you might recognize this equation for the equation for mass, and this is a uh, double integral over the, the density in the area, but one of the things that is missing inside this equation is that it assumes that uh, there's a thickness involved, and that thickness is not in the equation. Um, also, the other piece that it assumes is that the, the density is uniform. So the, the, you notice that the units don't work out unless you have a thickness in there. So the area times mass per volume will give you mass per thickness. So thickness is also in that equation, uh, but we've sort of left it out. And the reason why we've left it out is when you go to this other set of equations, um, the thickness shows up as a constant in the denominator as well as the numerator, and so it just drops out. So we've left that out of this equation. So our fancy equation reduces to something quite simple. It is that the center of mass for x, for example, in the case of a uniform thickness, reduces to 1 over a total times essentially the, the integration of the the x values and the area, or even simpler than this, um, is equal to 1 over a total times the sum of xi times ai. Now, this version of the equation is a, a little bit easier to work with, doesn't involve uh, calculus. There is a y equivalent, that or y center of mass is 1 over a total uh, times the sum of y i a i and let me just show you how this is uh, applied so let's say that we have a um, rectangle that happens to be let's say this happens to be four centimeters by two centimeters and um, we're kind of ignoring this other dimension here but it's implied we've got a third dimension but uh, since it's it's uniform um, we're not going to worry about the thickness because the center of mass will largely be determined by the geometry in this particular plane, which we will call the xy plane. We're not so much uh, worried about the z dimension. So um, let's call this point right here 0, 0. And we know just by symmetry that the center of mass for this, if it's a, of uniform thickness and also uniform density, the density doesn't vary across this thing, that the center of mass by symmetry is going to be along the center of this thing. Uh, and we know that this point right here is just going to be essentially um, one, in the, one centimeter in the x direction and then two centimeters in the y direction. We just know that by inspection, but we could do the calculation and you'll see that th that works out. But now let's say that we um, decided to uh, cut out a little shape from this. Let's say we cut out a little hole through the thickness, and that that hole had uh, the dimensions of 0 0.5 centimeters by 0 0.5 centimeters, and um, in other words, 0.25 square centimeters. And this happened to be located, the center of mass for this guy happened to, happens to be at, we'll call this uh, 1.5 centimeters and uh, 0 0.75 centimeters in in the y dimension. Okay, so how would we calculate the center of mass for this for this new object? Well, this is very simple um, in the sense that we could say that the, the center of mass is just equal to one over the total area times the sum of um, x i a i. And we could use the area of the, rect the original rectangle as one of the areas, and then we could use the area that we could subtract off this area. So um, we know that the a total is just going to be equal to is the area of the the big rectangle minus the area of the little um, cutout. So that is just equal to uh, eight centimeter squared minus 0 0.25 centimeters squared or uh, 7 point excuse me 7.75 uh, centimeters squared now with a calculation for the x com then we just have that x com 
is equal to 1 over 7.75 centimeters squared times, um, we know 1 centimeter times 2 centimeters by 4 centimeters. This is the original area of the rectangle. This is the uh, x, uh, the center of mass for the rectangle. All right, so I'm, I'm taking the center of mass for the rectangle and I'm multiplying that by uh, the area of the rectangle. And then I subtract off the center of mass for the, the, um, in the x dimension for the little cutout. So I subtract off um, x value 1.5 centimeters times the area there, which is 0 0.25 oops, centimeters squared. And I end up getting uh, from this that the XCOM is just equal to 1 over 7.75 centimeters squared times uh, 7.625 centimeters cubed, or this is equal to uh, 0 0.984 centimeters. And this is the new center of mass for this shape where we've cut out part of it. So all we've done is summed up this and then minus what we've cut out, the center of mass there. So that will work in the y dimension as well. So if you have a complicated shape um, that has simple shapes cut out of it, one of the things that you could do is um, essentially work with the symmetry of that. So let's say I had a, a rectangle and I cut out of it a parabola at the bottom, I could work with the center, ma center of mass of the rectangle and then subtract the uh, center of mass of the parabola to help get me the, the center of mass for the object. So that's a shortcut. I hope that helps.